With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let us start with our question. In this question, so there are two statements which have been given. The statement one says that on viewing the clear blue portion of the sky through a calcite crystal, the intensity of the transmitted light varies as the crystal rotates. Now the intense, the light coming from the uh, sky is polarized due to the scattering of the sunlight by the particles in the atmosphere. The scattering is largest for the blue light. Now there are statements which have been given. Uh, so we need to check. Uh, first of all, we will be checking uh, what is basically polarized and unpolarized light. So the polarized, unpolarized light is basically in uh, in which the electric field uh, would be uh, this. Uh, there would be oscillation of electric field lines in in any in we can say that more than one plane. Okay. So there would be several planes along which electric field vector they would be oscillating. Okay. Now if we just pass this through a polaroid, let's suppose that we pass this through a polaroid. We just make a polaroid. Let's say this is our polaroid. Okay. Now we can say that we wanted so this polaroid is uh, is uh, basically to make the light to be polarized in uh, in this direction. That means electric field should oscillate in this direction. So we put it like this. So let's say so what will be uh, this. Uh, uh, what would be the direction of the oscillation of this uh, of this uh, unpolarized light? It would be along this line, along this line. Okay, so this. Now, for example, so this is the first case. Okay, this was the unpolarized. Now, this is the second case, which is basically our polarized light. Now, what we wanted to do, we wanted to make this electric field line to oscillate in some another direction. So, what we can say that we bring another polarized. Okay. Now, in this case. We choose the uh, this uh, angle between, for example, uh, the initial uh, initial uh, direction of the oscillation, and with the axis of the this uh, our polaroid filter is basically let's say from this it is theta. So our electric field would oscillate accordingly in this direction. Okay. Now, for example, if initial initially the intensity of this uh, uh, of the polarized intensity here unpolarized intensity it was i. Now, after passing through the pole, right, it would be just average i divided by two. Okay, so it would be i divided by two after just passing through the first. So unpolarized light to polarized light, it would be i by two. Now, correspondingly, when we have uh, just uh, tilted this uh, uh, electric field, uh, this vector uh, in a direction theta with the original polarized light, so the new intensity here it would be equals to i divided by two cos square theta. Okay, where theta is the angle through which we wanted to rotate our the case. Now we know that when the whenever there is a white light which is coming, okay, for example from the sun, this is our Earth's atmosphere. Let us suppose that this is our Earth's atmosphere, and let's suppose this is our sun. Okay, now this would be the initially this would be the white light. Okay, white light. Now when the white light comes here, so there would be a scattering. Okay, and which light is scattered the most? So it is the blue light which is scattered the most. Okay. Now, if blue light is scattered the most, we will be viewing it as the blue. So we can say that our second statement that the light coming from the sky is polarized by the scattering of the uh, this sunlight uh, by the particles in the atmosphere, and it is largest for the blue light. So it is true that it is largest for the blue light. That is why we are seeing the sky as to be our blue. Okay, whenever we used to see in the uh, in the uh, noon time, or we can say that in the morning time. So we can say that sky is blue. So it is due to the scattering. So this statement is true. Now on viewing the Clear blue uh, portion of the sky through a calcite crystal. The intensity of the transmitted light varies as the crystal is rotated. Why? Because it would be depending upon the angle theta. So if we vary the angle, intensity would be varying. So second statement and first statement both are true, and this is the correct uh, explanation. So we can say that B is the correct option. Hope you understood this solution. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.